works. <laughs> All right. So that's me doing, doing my bachelor's. Uh, I did that in biotechnology, and then a master at ASU, and I currently work at Vanderbilt, which is a few, few blocks away from here. Don't worry, I'm not going to give a talk on science and technology. It's going to be a little more different. So doing my master's at ASU, there is one other important skill I learned along with my master's degree. That is to be independent. I learned how to work. I work part-time at eight public school. I, know, I learned how to do my laundry and take care of myself. All those things were done by my parents and held back home. I hiked the Grand Canyon for 16 miles, made me believe in what I can possibly do. The hike was pretty long, it was 16, 16 miles. It took me several days to recover from that hike, but I believed in myself. It, I knew that I can do a lot more. During my orientation um, at ASU, President Pro said, join at least one student organization to re truly experience the campus life. And I choose to join the ASU Outdoors Club, it has changed me my life forever. In the outdoor community, there are three kinds of fun. The first one is you feel good when you're doing the trip, and the second kind of fun is where it sounds, sounds kind of sketchy, but you enjoy your story when you tell your parents and family members. And the third kind of thing doesn't sound like a good idea at all, but the experience will stay with you for the rest of your life. Here is one trip that we did to Waterfalls Canyon, where in the middle of the canyon we had ended up and called the rattlesnake. There was nowhere else to go. There were 200 foot walls on either sides, and then there was a rattlesnake right in front of us. After going to all kinds of crazy options, we decided to hike back a little bit and hike up out of the canyon. But we wanted to finish our adventure, so we went back inside the canyon, passing the lake, and finished the canyon. A while ago, uh, four of us from completely different backgrounds. One was a US Marine, and then a sustainability major, and the other one works at a Japanese restaurant, and he's a future park ranger, and, and my other friend was doing his internship, his friend was from Germany, a soccer player, and I'm on that background. We tried to go on this level the road all around the West Coast. We saw some of the incredible national parks. We hiked close to 80 miles, we traveled 4,500 miles, and we camp every day, like those 10 days were one of the best days of my life so far. Every day I would think, like, this is the best place I've seen so far, and that would, I would prove it wrong the next day. I didn't restrict myself to just hiking. I rock climbed, I canyoned, I went bungee jumping, I went skydiving, paragliding, any activity that I'm certain and I probably did. And all those things, I did it in one year, that was in 2012. When you get a chance, take a look back and see what all you have accomplished. People often talk about bucket lists and things, what you are going to do next, but from time to time, take a look back and see what you have accomplished. How many of you have heard of Burning Man? Quite a few of you, that's good. So, last summer, I have decided to go to Burning Man, and if you think Burning Man is just a bunch of hippies having a rain party in the middle of a desert, you're not wrong. <laughs> That's only the 10% of the story. There's a whole 90% of this story, which is not out a lot. Close to 68,000 people gather uh, in the desert from every part of the world and live and then build this incredible city with lots of art, love, and affection. And Burning Man is a gift based economy. Over there, there's a full fledged hospital, a bike shop, a movie theater, any service you think of, it's all there, and it's all free. People who just want to contribute to the society go there every year and they are really passionate about what they do. At Burning Man, they take clean rotaries very seriously. This is uh, one of our uh, camp hosts posted on Facebook right after we came back from the event and she just pointed out which trailer left what at each campsite. This is like public shaming, but that's how serious they take about clean rotaries. And uh, in the picture, you see uh, the whole group, and those are the three cool vehicles we have uh, at Burning Man. And then most of those people, they are all like CEOs and of big uh, companies and from all walks of life. It's all about uh, balance is the key to life. You don't have to give up your full time job or have a ton of money to go adventure. Gather a few, a few friends, like travel sheep. Uh, that, that makes trips happen uh, a lot, a lot more, uh, in, an, in an awkward, inexpensive way. On an ending note, I would say, travel to different places 
connect with people, experience the surroundings, and capture the memories, celebrate life.